Hello there, and welcome to our show. I'm Mike, and I'm Rainbow. And thanks for joining us for our three-day stories and fables unit for this month. For you this time, we have a story, and it's also actually history, but this story is a fable. Wait,、mm. you mean that it's history, so it's、yeah. true, sort of, but it's also a fable,、yes. which usually isn't true. Yes. Mm, how's that possible? Well, it's complicated, but you know that sometimes we have old stories about、mm -hmm. real people. The people really did exist and live,、mm -hmm. but sometimes there are stories about those people,、mm, and those stories they maybe didn't actually happen. Like that story about George Washington cutting down the cherry tree when he was a little boy, and then not lying about it. When his father got mad at him, <gasps> it's not a, real. It's a great story. It's a famous story, and lots of people have heard about it. But it probably didn't happen. <gasps> Historians, people who study real history, they can't actually find any record of that story being true. But people like to believe the story because it shows what a good and honest person George Washington was. It's a great fable. But it might not be history. Ah, I see、yeah. what you mean. I did not know that.、Mm, so the、mm. story is not real. So the story we have this month, though, it's called Bruce and the Spider.、And、this is about a man whose name is Robert Bruce, a real man who lived a long time ago, but. Maybe he didn't actually have this experience with a spider. Exactly. But since it's such a great story, it's been repeated and told for hundreds of years. So people end up believing it's true. It's not a lie about him, but it's not something that probably ever really happened. It's a fable about a real person from history. Ah. Okay. Cool. So before we read about Bruce and his maybe not so real spider story, let's check out all of the very real new vocabulary that we have for you today. 今天要带大家看一个苏格兰的故事，叫做 Bruce and the Spider， 布鲁斯和蜘蛛的故事。首先带大家看四个单词，第一个单词 enemy。Enemy, 敌人是个名词，在 superhero movies 或是英雄电影里面，常常会有一个 enemy. Superheroes fight enemies for justice and always win. Superheroes fight enemies for justice and always win. 英雄为了正义打击敌人，并且一定会赢。第二个单词 control, control, 控制。在这边是个名词。Glenn likes to drive, so he can have more control over his safety. Glenn likes to drive, so he can have more control over his safety. Glenn 喜欢开车，这样他就可以更好的掌握自己的安全。第三个单词 army, army， 军队是个名词。Sarah has four sons in the army. Sarah has four sons in the army. Sarah 有四个儿子在军队里面。最后一个单词 soldier, soldier 士兵是个名词。Army 就是由很多的 soldier 组成的。He was a brave soldier and a wise teacher. He was a brave soldier and a wise teacher. 他是一个勇敢的士兵，也是一个有智慧的老师。好了，现在我们已经看完今天的单字例句，接下来一起回到课文中继续看 Bruce 的故事吧。Hundreds of years ago, Robert Bruce was king of Scotland. He was both brave and wise, and he cared for his land and people. He had many enemies, though. One was the king of England. He desired control of Scotland, so he led a great army there. He tried to drive Bruce out, but Bruce's small army didn't allow that to happen. Explanation one.
All right. So as we mentioned, this story, Bruce and the Spider, is about Robert Bruce, or as he is sometimes known, Robert the Bruce. Not just Bruce, the Bruce. <laughs> he lived in the country of Scotland a long, long, long time ago. So、Ooh. let's get into our story now, and we will find out what it's all about. The first sentence tells us: Hundreds of years ago, Robert Bruce was king of Scotland. Yeah, that would make him a pretty important person. And from what we read next, he sounds like he was a pretty good king. We read he was both brave and wise, and he cared for his land and people. Wow, that is the classic description of the perfect king. Some of them, of course, could be evil and cruel. A lot of them, actually, but not our Robert. Exactly. But even though he was good at his job, and lots of people must have really liked him a lot, not everyone was a fan.、Hmm. We know this because the next sentence says he had many enemies. Though,、mm. well, I guess no king or queen or president or Politician can be popular with 100% of the people 100% of the time. That's just life, right? That's true. But in Robert's case, one of his enemies was a little bit more powerful. Speaking of his enemies, the next sentence says one was the King of England. Ooh, that would be a pretty bad enemy to have, I would imagine. Yeah, the King of England at the time, Edward the First, was a pretty powerful and fierce king. He was a warrior king who had already conquered many other lands. Definitely not someone who Robert Bruce could afford to ignore. And this King of England was also not going to ignore Robert. Or the land up in Scotland that he controlled. It says he desired to control Scotland, so he led a great army there. Imagine an army of thousands of knights, warriors, and archers with bows and arrows. A pretty tough enemy for anyone to have to face. But Robert and his men were tough and brave too. They were fighting for their homeland, and they weren't about to hand control of it over to the English without a fight. As we reach our break, we read he tried to drive Bruce out, but Bruce's small army didn't allow that to happen. They weren't just going to roll over. And let the English king take Scotland for himself. It's all very exciting stuff, and we'll learn more after the break. But first, we have today's grammar point to learn about. Let's check it out. 大家好，我是 Daphne。今天的第一则文法是 drive out， 意思是驱逐出去。Drive 在这里是及物动词驱赶的意思。三态是 drive, drove, driven。后方搭配副词 out 向外，合在一起 drive out 就是驱逐出去，是及物动词片语。例如 ，the pesticide drove out the bugs， 杀虫剂把蚊虫驱赶出去。Okay, it's time for our break now, and then we'll be back to finish off today's article. They fought six times. Each time, Bruce's army lost. After the last battle, Bruce's soldiers ran in all directions. Also, Bruce himself went into hiding. Explanation two. Welcome back, lads and lassies. That's Scottish for boys and girls.、Ah. Robert Bruce and his army are fighting a do-or-die war against the invading English army and its leader, King Edward the First. It's a tough fight for the Scottish. Their army is smaller than the English one, but they are fighting for their homeland, and they aren't going to quit before they are completely beaten. And from what we read next. 
This war went on for quite some time. It says they fought six times. Wow! Wow! Six battles between the two armies. That shows how brave the Scottish were to hold off the powerful English army for so long. 在这边带大家看一个补充单字 battle， 战争，这是一个名词，一个 war， 大战是由非常多个比较小的 battles 组成的。As we read on, it looks like Robert Bruce's army was very brave, but they were also finding it very difficult to beat the English soldiers. It says each time Bruce's army lost. Ooh, that's not good. So they were one zero、mm-hmm. actually because they lost every time.、Yep. Zero against the six, which was the English. So not a great record for a basketball team, a baseball team, or any team actually. No. Worse for an army, in fact, because every time they lose, more and more men would be killed. Hurt or caught by the bad guys. Yeah, zero and six is not good. And Robert's men were also losing hope. They had lost six battles in a row, and so naturally they would start to feel that they will never beat the English. And so a lot of them are now just trying to save their own lives, run away home. The story tells us after the last battle. Bruce's soldiers ran in all directions. Save yourselves!、Ooh. They were trying to save themselves from another defeat at the hands of the English. This is serious stuff for Robert Bruce. Okay, we're almost done for today, but we should pause here for our second grammar point. 第二则文法是动词加上 in all directions， 意思是往各个方向做某事。介系词 in。在这里是朝向的意思 ，all 是形容词全部的 ，direction 是可数名词方向，合在一起 ，in all directions 是副词片语，字面意思就是朝向所有的方向，用以修饰前方的动作朝四面八方进行。例如 ，the thief glanced in all directions， 小偷四下乱瞥。Okay, so the Scottish army has been badly beaten by the more powerful English army six times in a row. Ooh, I hate those guys. Robert Bruce's men are starting to think that the English King Edward the First and his larger, more powerful army are unbeatable. So the Scottish are now just trying to save themselves. Robert's army is disappearing as his men run for their lives. What can a king without an army do in this situation? Really, not much. So the last sentence of the article today tells us. Also, Bruce went into hiding, so he couldn't fight without an army, but he also didn't want to be captured by the English. So that would certainly have been the end of him if he was. Yep, he would have been a king without a kingdom, and probably pretty soon after that, a king without a head. <coughs> Not a good situation for Robert Bruce. Okay, well that's the end of today's part of the story, but we do have one more grammar point that we need to take care of. Let's check that out, and then we'll be back to say goodbye. 第三则文法是 Bruce himself went into hiding， 意思是布鲁斯他自己去躲了起来。这个句子有两个值得注意的地方。第一，第三人称单数主词 Bruce 后方接了第三人称单数反身代名词 himself， 表示强调某人自己。注意，主词和反身代名词的人称要一致哦。第二，动词片语 go into 意思是从事，使用时后方接名词或者是动名词，而 hiding 就是动词 hide 躲藏的动名词用法。我们还可以照样造句，例如 When the earthquake hit, 
Scott himself went into hiding. 地震一来，史考特就自己去躲了起来。Okay, that's all we have for you today. But there will be much more in days two and three of our stories and fables unit. We hope you can come back and join us for those. So see you soon. Bye bye. bye. Bruce and the Spider. Hundreds of years ago, Robert Bruce was king of Scotland. He was both brave and wise, and he cared for his land and people. He had many enemies, though. One was the King of England. He desired control of Scotland, so he led a great army there. He tried to drive Bruce out, but Bruce's small army didn't allow that to happen. They fought six times. Each time, Bruce's army lost. After the last battle. Bruce's soldiers ran in all directions. Also, Bruce himself went into hiding. Using English to describe science. 欢迎收看《就爱讲英文》，我是 Steven， 我是 Kate。今天的主题呢是跟我非常非常遥远，因为我,<笑>我以为要不是这样的学生。<笑>今天主题是学霸的英文怎么说？对对，其实这个真的，嗯，我跟他没有什么缘分，但是还是要教你们，因为相信有很多这种很优秀的学生们。嗯，你可以称赞别人用。对对对对对,对，第一个呢是 Grade A。Student, Grade A student, 对，优等生。在台湾吗？你们也是用 A B C D 吗？是这样吗？呃、uh, ，还是只是用号码的分数？我以前不是、欸，哎、uh-uh. ，是甲乙丙丁。OK，、嗯、那在那会数字。美国学校呢？嗯 ，A 平常是 A plus， 就是九十九到一百分、嗯。那如果你考九十三分以上到九十八，就是 A。嗯 ，OK， 所以如果听到只要听到是 A 的话，表示说你的成绩非常好,好、嗯，对。所以呢，我们是 Grade A student 的时候，就表示说你的所有分数一定是九十三以上的、嗯，你是一个非常优秀的一个。所以所有的成绩都是 A 以上的学生。是的 ，Grade A student。对对对。那今天讲这些东西呢，我相信如果是爸爸妈妈们讲他们自己的小孩，还是讲别人小孩，是听起来是个非常好的一个称赞、嗯，对不对？但是可能其他的学生们听到你是个 Grade A student、哦。的时候，也许会有一点点那种 grade A student 那种感觉，<笑>是有点像 nerd 吗？就有一点点像 nerd，、oh. 可是讲 grade A student 的时候，就是你逼不得已的说他真的成绩非常好。OK， 好接下来这个呢是 high flyer， he is a high flyer， high flyer， 嗯，就感觉很像是这个小孩是。飞得很高，飞得很高，聪明到就呜，打的只能说其他小孩还在这里，就是慢慢像我在下面这里。那这个小孩 high flyer 就是飞过去哦，那不能说大人是 high flyer。嗯，因为平常我们大人都已经差不多都这样子<笑>，<笑>什么啊？没有，因为平常是会去形容小孩子，为什么？因为大人他已经是聪明的时候，他就是聪明了，他不需要再起飞那种感觉。他已经其实已经差不多这样子了，就已经在天空了。但小朋友在学习的时候，他比较像是轰那种感觉。所以前两个都是只能说小朋友。呃 ，Grade A student 已经是小朋友 ，High Flyer。我比较常听到是跟小朋友,小朋友，但是如果你说这个人真的是一个还蛮成功的人、嗯，也不会很意外。如果你形容一个成人是一个 high flyer，、嗯、他要的东西，比尔盖茨是 high flyer， 可以是 high flyer， 就是他就是一个我要什么东西都一定是要超过别人的、嗯，对，也可以。成功人士。下一个呢，就没有分是老的还是年轻的、嗯，就是 fast learner， fast learner， 就是一个学习很快的人、嗯，学东西很快的人。你是一个学东西很快的人吗？ Are you a fast learner？ 要看学什么。Oh, okay. Uh, I'm a fast learner, but I'm also a fast forgetter. That <laughs> 算吗？没有这个说法，但是我真的是一个学习应该是算蛮快的人，但是我一转头我就忘记我刚刚做了什么事情。那这样还是等于零啊？嗯，还是等于零啊。但是在那个当下，人家觉得哇，好聪明哦。Uh, OK， 就是要说你很聪明的意思嘛，就不是 fast learner， 好是聪明。第四呢，就是一定是小朋友啦。这个是 whiz kid。Whiz kid。嗯哼。With 是什么意思呢？当一个东西
飞过去很快的时候，会有个轰那种感觉，然后一头发这样直直像是飘过去。Whiz，、嗯、这个就是一个声音。哦、oh, ，是一个声音。对 ，Wiz Kid Whiz. 就是这个小朋友，真的动得很快，他脑袋很快，嗯、他是个天才。Wiz Kid 天才、嗯、，Genius 也可以吗？也可以啊，也可以啊。Okay. 可是 Wiz Kid 听起来比较流行一点点。嗯、uh, ，Wiz Kid。那今天呢，我们学到是一些学霸怎么讲，用英文去讲。嗯，那我们就可以用这些英文来称赞一下你身边很聪明的人。那我们进入 Life Action 吧。You can remember all the Japanese words we just learned a few minutes ago. What a whiz kid! I think I'm a fast learner. No wonder you are a grade A student. I envy you. If I want to be a real high flyer in the future, I still need to make an all-out effort. 第一 ，grade A student. 第二。High flyer. 第三 fast learner. 第四 whiz kid. 我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们一分钟的单元。在这一分钟的时间里面，我们要复习四个单字，还要找四个例句。同学们准备好没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单字叫做敌人。敌人怎么说呢？叫做 enemy。enemy。You should try to avoid making enemies。你应该要试着避免树立敌人，制造敌人。make enemies 就是树立敌人。好，第二个单字叫做控制。控制怎么说呢？叫做 control。control。Kevin lost control of his car. As a result, it hit a tree. Kevin 控制不住他那台车，结果车子就撞到一棵树了。好，第三个单词叫做军队。军队怎么说呢？叫做 army. Army. 我们可以用 join the army 来表达从军。Ron joined the army in 1993. Ron 在一九九三年加入军队，开始从军。那第四单词是士兵。士兵要怎么说呢？叫做 soldier. Soldier. Those soldiers were very brave. 那些士兵们非常勇敢。好，太好啦！我们轻轻松松就在一分钟之内复习完四个单词喽。同学表现很棒，那在家也要多多复习。我们下次见，拜拜。